Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Have a nice day, my esteemed students, and welcome back to a new lesson of English, lesson number eight. In this lesson, we'll talk about malaria, which is a very dangerous disease in the world. Let's begin our lesson. Number A. Work in pairs. Discuss the questions. Where do you find mosquitoes? What places? What places do they like? Number two. What time of the day and year do they appear? Three. What are the best ways to avoid mosquito bites? Make a list. Here we have some possible answers. Number one, where do you find mosquitoes and what places do they like? They are mainly found in warm climates and they like wet areas where the female can lay her eggs. Number two, what time of the day and year do they appear? Students can rely on their local knowledge to answer the questions. In many parts of the world, mosquitoes appear in greater numbers during wet times of the year. They are also more likely to come out in the evening more than in the day or during the day. Number three, what are the best ways to avoid mosquito bites? Make a list. Some of the suggestions students may come up with are here wear protective clothing, covering the arms and legs, use mosquito repellent, cream, or spray, put mosquito nets over the bed at night, use special burners which produce smoke to repel mosquitoes. Number B, the following task. Complete the table with the missing words. We have on the first column verbs, in the second one noun, and then adjectives. So here we have resist and bite under the title of verbs. Here we don't have anything and the adjectives we have curable and incurable, sorry, and incurable. Infectious. So we can see this table. Verb under the title of verb or verbs we have resist, we have cure, bite, and infect. The noun of resist is resistance, and the noun from cure is cure. Bite, bite, infect, infection. What about the adjectives? Resist, resistance, resistant. Resistant is the adjective of resistance. Cure, cure, we have curable or incurable. Bite, bite as a noun also. And we don't have an adjective for the word, the word bite. Infect, infection, and as an adjective, we can form this word, I mean, infectious. You can see them and write them down, my students. Let's do practice number C. Practice number C says, work in pairs, look at the symptoms in the box, explain their meaning. A chill, a fever, sweating, coma, and delirium. We have to explain the previous symptoms. Number one, a chill is a cold that causes shivering. A cold that causes shivering. Two, fever. Illness causing a high temperature. Sweating, liquid coming from the pores of the skin, 
liquid coming from the pores of the skin because of fever what about coma coma is deep sleep and consciousness so if you have a coma you are unconscious what about delirium delirium means temporary madness caused by illness like fever and so on practice number D work in pairs and write five questions about the malaria in your notebooks we can write the following questions number one what's malaria what is this disease two where does the disease occur three what are the main symptoms of it? Four, how many people are infected with malaria? And five, how many forms of this disease? I mean malaria. These are five answers. Then, practice number E, read the text, look for answers to your questions in exercise number D. So, first of all, we want to read the text. So, please listen to me carefully. Malaria. Malaria is an infection disease of birds, monkeys, and humans. It's caused by organisms called protozoan, protozoans, which are transmitted by the bite of mosquitoes. The disease occurs in most tropical and subtropical areas of the world. It also occurs in some temperate regions. The main symptoms of the disease are chills, fever, and sweating. Control of the disease has been based on the use of insecticides. Since 1950, the disease has been eliminated from almost all of the all of Europe and from large areas of Central and South Amer Af America. It still remains a problem in many parts of Africa and Southeast Asia. Each year about 300 to 500 million people are infected with malaria, some 1.5 to 2.7 million of these cases are fatal. In humans, there are four forms of malaria, each caused by different each one caused by a different parasite. Most deaths are caused by a type of malaria known as jungle fever. The organism in this form of the disease, plasmodium, falciparum often block the blood vessels this produces coma and delirium in the patient and finally death since 1638 malaria has been treated with quinine which is an extract from the bark of the cinchona tree quinine slows down the growth of the protozoans in the bloodstream. It's also rather toxic. In 1930, German chemists produced a drug called atabrine, which is more effective than quinine and less toxic. A new drug called chloroquine was produced in 1945. It could cure jungle fever completely and was more effective than quinine or alpatrin in suppressing the other forms of malaria. It was also less toxic than other drugs and needed to be taken in less frequent doses. In recent years, there have been setbacks in the fight against malaria. Plasmodium falciparum has become more resistant to chloroquine and other drugs. In addition, some mosquitoes have developed resistance to in 
60 sites such as DDT. As a result, malaria is starting to spread again in some areas of the world such as Asia and Central America. Now after reading this text we can come back to the questions. So what is malaria? Where does the disease occur? What are the main symptoms of it? And how many people are infected with malaria? How many forms of malaria? What's malaria? Malaria is an infectious disease of birds, monkeys and humans. Where does the disease occur? Where does this disease occur? It occurs in most tropical and subtropical areas of the world. It also occurs in some temperate regions. What are the main symptoms of it? The main symptoms of the disease are chills, fever and sweating. How many people are infected with malaria? About 300 to 500 million people are infected with it. How many forms of malaria? Malaria has four forms. Here you can see the answers, my dear students. You can look at them carefully and after that you can uh, write them down in your copy books. Now let's do some exercise in our workbook, page number 50. Read again the text in exercise number E on course book on page number 85. Match the words in bold in the text to the definitions below. Number 1. Amounts of a drug or medicine that should be taken to working well and having the intended result three problems that cause a delay four remove something forever five causing someone to die six chemicals for killing insects and finally number seven stopping or stopping a process developing here are the answers Number one, amount of a drug or medicine that should be taken means doses. Working well and having the intended result, effective. Problems that cause a delay, setbacks, remove something forever, eliminate. Number five, causing someone to die, fatal. Six, chemicals for killing insects, insecticides, stopping a process developing, suppressing, suppressing. Number B, complete the notes with information from the text in exercise number E on course book page number 85 here we have malaria caused by transmitted by since 1950 eliminated from so and so still a problem in so and so each year people infected with malaria deaths there are forms of malaria causes most deaths three main drugs one two three cents since since and most effective, most effective also toxic. And then finally we have recent problems. One, two mosquitoes have become two. Let's see here the answers. Malaria caused by caused by protozoans transmitted by the bite of mosquitoes. Since 1950, eliminated from almost all of Europe, a large areas of Central and South America. Still a problem in Africa and Southeast of Asia. Each year, 300 to 500 million people infected with malaria. 
1.52 what 2.7 million deaths there are four forms of it jungle fever causes most deaths three main drugs quinine at atabrine and chloroquine Nin. the first one since 1638 then 1930 and the last one since 1945 Chloroquine, most effective, also less toxic than others. And we have some recent, some recent problems like number one, plasmodium falciparum, more resistant to drugs. Number two, mosquitoes have become more resistant to insecticides. After doing. All of these tasks, my dear students, we can conclude this lesson, so please study it hard. Thank you for being uh, patient and goodbye.